Hi you guys, it's Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and today I am going to talk to you guys about our um, windows, window treatments um, and how we can make sure that they're really healthy and toxin free for our home. So um, this is kind of, you know, it's different parts of your windows obviously buying a window in and of itself is a very um, big investment. A lot of times we do them, we do most of them in our house instead of just doing like one at a time. Um, and so that's gonna be a bigger um, project, but I do have some ways that we can try to find um, healthier alternatives to maybe like a vinyl window, um, which has a lot of toxins in it because it is plastic um, essentially and it will off gas in your house. So I'm gonna talk about that in this week's um, video and blog post. And then I also wanted to touch base on window treatments. Um, this is a question I get a lot and people wanna know, how can I keep um, this part of my home toxin free, especially if you're looking for an alternative to say like mini blinds um, or like a like just a shade that you pull um, in your home and make sure that it's um, free of like plastics, vinyls, um, and what a good option would be. Um, I'm also covering some blackout shades because a lot of times that has um, a layer that has some toxins in it in order to block out um, the sun. We can't use just like a regular cotton a lot of times and so I have some really great options for that. Um, links to those products that I'm going to be mentioning are in this week's blog post. Otherwise um, I'm going to take you guys through some slides and we'll talk about the different toxins that are in each of these um, parts of your window and window treatment and then we will um, talk about some great options that you can find for your own home if you're going to be shopping for windows or if you're just looking for new um, window treatments you can do it either way I think that no matter what you do um, whether it's replacing a window and that's a big expensive thing or you're just replacing something small like a window treatment you can make a healthier choice and avoid bringing additional toxins into your home and by doing that one step at a time we're really going to create um, an environment in our homes that is healthy, um, one that promotes wellness, one that supports our immune system. So let's go through the slides and we'll take a look and see what we've got. All right, you guys, so here we go. Um, whether you're looking to do like a small project or you really wanna like dive in and tackle a partial remodel, there are always beneficial ways that you can improve your home through choosing better products and materials and that's just what we're going to talk about today um every time you replace something in your home whether it's natural blinds or organic curtains or even like a big project like eco-friendly windows you guys can bet that choosing a healthier product is going to prevent some um amount of toxins from entering your homes um you know, you might be wondering why it even matters and if you really need to pay attention to these factors, because I think a lot of times we think what's well, just like one small thing in our home, but it really will make a difference in terms of your health and wellness. Um, I'm a huge supporter of the idea that yes, just one small change can make a huge difference, especially when those changes start to add up, um, which is exactly what we're going to talk about today. And I think you're going to get a good idea of some things that you can do. So let's get started. Um, so let's talk about toxic window materials. Um, many toxin, um, toxins are in actually newer windows. A lot of windows are being replaced with like vinyl windows that are completely maintenance free. And while these um, options are super convenient for the typical homeowner, there is a give and a take when it comes to this option. Um, Vinyl contains toxins such as PVC, um, phthalates, and bisphenol toxins. These are all related to that vinyl plastic um, component. Vinyl is a type of plastic and it contains off-gassing chemicals that will enter your home. Um, the chemicals are harmful to the natural production of your hormones and um, as we add more and more of these hormone disruptors to our home, our body, including our immune system, becomes suppressed and unable to function on a healthy level. Other health risks include um, abnormal reproductive de development, like especially in children and teens, um, hormone disruption, like I talked about, and then um, problems with the neurological system. So these are all things we want to avoid that are, f are found um, as contributing factors um, from 
the polyvinyl um, chloride toxin, which is in vinyl windows. Um, so now let's talk about some eco-friendly options. So unfortunately, there's really like no 100% non-toxic option when it comes to windows. Um, there are definitely better options for your health and wellness and for your environment at home. The first is wood. Wood windows are generally treated with different um, pesticides. This is to prevent pests from like eating away at your windows. Um, and then they're also treated to prevent mold, bacteria, and mildew. And then they're usually coated in a stain and a finish that contain VOCs. Um, so if you can find windows that are untreated, that don't contain VOCs, you have a good thing. Um, but the great thing about wood is that generally you can seal the chemicals and toxins in with a VOC blocker like um, AFM safe seal and I have that linked in this week's blog post but if you were to opt for like a newer window I probably wouldn't recommend a wood window unless you can ensure that it is completely untreated and unstained and then from there you can add your own eco-friendly window stain um, and clear coat as you wish so the next option is aluminum and oddly enough this is actually a really great option um it's usually a powder coated aluminum and this is like the best when it comes to eco-friendly windows um there are almost no toxins with this type of window um, in the frame as long as you opt for a window that is um uses like a baked on enamel as opposed to like painting it so you'll want to look for that um, and ask your window dealer or manufacturer that question um the other nice thing about aluminum is it's very low maintenance. Um, it's considered an eco-friendly window alternative when building like a greenhouse. Um, so then let's talk about how do we care for windows once we either, you know, have toxin free in our house or we just want to, you know, maintain the windows we have. Um, you don't want to ruin them by using like toxic caulking, adhesives or cleaners on them. So this is one really simple way that you can prevent toxins and chemicals from entering your house, like on a day to day level. Um, I did a blog post a while ago that talked about caulking and adhesives. I have that linked in this week's blog post. Um, but basically you, you want to avoid introducing new chemicals and toxins into your space by bringing in a caulking that has um, toxins in it. You will want to be like um, putting the caulking in the gaps in the windows um, as they come up and it's very important as part of a home maintenance plan you'll also want to make sure that you're um, using a toxin free cleaner that is free from ammonia synthetic fragrances um, and other added chemicals i have a post linked in this week's blog post as well that kind of helps you with finding a cleaner that's appropriate for your home um, but basically these are the uh, maintenance items for any type of window so now let's talk about we're kind of moving from, um, you know, the big purchase, which would be your windows to maybe blinds. Um, so this is something that we probably change out more often than windows. And yet it's often completely missed when we're talking about reducing or limiting toxins in our homes. Um, the great thing is that there are more natural blinds out there than ever before. And you can really find a cost effective option for your home. Um, one of the toxins that we want to avoid again is vinyl or PVC. It should just generally be avoided. Um, the, these materials can contain like plastic toxins that we know are really harmful to like our neurological system, our hormone production and our immune system. It's also, um, harmful to our hormone production, our immune system, um, as well as our reproductive system. Um, and let's see here. Another blind, blind material that you generally want to avoid is aluminum. Now, I know we talked about this for windows. Um, in blinds, a lot of them are made with like a polyester-based enamel finish, and it off-gasses in your home. Um, that's like a petroleum product. And then you also really want to be careful of faux woods and composite blinds as they um, can contain PVC toxins as well as formaldehyde in them. So um, we kind of already talked about what these are harmful to in terms of health, and that is our hormone production, immune system, reproductive system, um, and really just burdening our body in general. So let's talk about the natural blind options. This is the good stuff. Um, the really great option would be like bamboo blinds. Um, usually they're roll up or like Roman style, and you can find um, organic and green versions of these natural blinds that are treated with no chemicals. Um, uh, you can get woven shades, um, 
that are like no VOC, no toxins, natural fibers. Earthshade is one of my favorites. Um, it's a great option for an untreated version of like a natural bamboo blind. Um, you can, the, this first one up here, you can find at, um, blind chalet. And I have that linked in this week's blog post. Um, and we want to find something that's like toxin free, natural fibers, eco-friendly is great. Um, you know, something that can conserve energy is a really great option. Um, so how do we care for these natural blinds once we put them in? Really? It's boiling down to like dusting. Um, they don't need a whole lot of maintenance. Natural blinds really aren't much different um, than regular blinds. So I think if you want to um, keep dust away, that's very important to the rest of the health of your home. It reduces static. Um, it removes toxins that are found in dust and um, it will reduce like dust mite production when, you know, we're talking about that just overall in your home. Um, use like a natural dusting cloth and then you can gently wipe down the blinds and you're good to go. Um, so now let's talk about curtains and drapes. So this is like the like outer part of your window. So a lot of times we'll do like window and then the shade and then we'll add a drape. Um, so curtains are one of the easiest swaps. Um, I did it in my house. You'll feel really good about the change. Um, and as I've learned more about toxins present in textiles and fabrics, um, I'm really glad that I did switching to like an organic curtain. Um, it's a painless swap. It just takes a little bit of research and, um, one of the big reasons, um, you know, when we start looking at, um, toxic curtains is there's a lot of pesticides, formaldehyde, flame retardants, um, in these, these drapes that we hang in our home. Um, so curtains, especially blackout curtains have an element of PVC and vinyl added to them to block out the sunshine and heat. Um, these toxins are harmful to the endocrine system and they also create problems with the immune system and neurological systems. Um, something that is fabric, the, where the fabric is like wrinkle free is also something to be avoided. Um, a lot of times they're embedded with formaldehyde, which keeps them wrinkle free. Um, and also they have like a coating um, that keeps them stain resistant, which is also toxic to our body and a known carcinogen. Um, and these things can off gas for a really long time. So we want to avoid them. Um, and then here are the list of reasons why we want to avoid these things that we already talked about. Um, so now let's talk about some natural options. And I've got some great links for you guys in this week's blog post um, that you can find in the description. Um, organic curtains and organic blackout curtains are just much easier to find now than they ever have been. So this is good for us. Um, you'll want to look for like a 100% organic linen or cotton. You can also look for third-party certifications like the GOT certification, the OCO tech standard tag can help you. Um, and then another great thing is to look on Etsy. I have found 100%, um, cotton curtains there that are like partial light blocking. They also, um, have sellers that will um, custom make things for you. So I have a couple links in this week's blog post with those options in them. I also found a line at Home Depot that has, um, they have an organic cotton curtain and drape um, section that are free from added chemicals. And then how do we care for these organic curtains? Um, first and foremost, we want to be washing them. Um, wash them regularly. If they are a natural fiber, then you can put them in your um, washing machine. Wash them on a hot cycle if you can. Let them air out in the sunshine if you can. Um, use a plant-based detergent, of course. Hot water is going to help um, reduce dust mites and kill anything that's embedded in the fabric. Um, you can dry them with organic dryer balls, like I said, or line dry them outside in some sunshine to disinfect them. Um, on the dryer balls, you could put some essential oil to give them a little freshness. Um, but that's it. That's everything that we want to do starting from the window all the way out to the window treatments um, to keep them toxin free. So that is what I would recommend for um, finding healthy windows, healthy window treatments, and how you can cut some toxins out of your home. I have this week's blog post with all of the links um, linked in the bottom of the description of this video. So if you're watching this on YouTube, um, you can just scroll down and go visit the blog to get links to those exact products um, or any studies that I mention in this week's um, video. So I will see you guys next week. See you later.